This, my fellow reptiles, is radical conservatism at its best. This fall, I'm supporting Richard Murdoch for Senate. Even when life begins in that horrible situation of rape, that it is uh, something that God intended to happen. This is a man who I want to see in Washington to make sure that we can not just talk about changing things, but actually have the votes to get things changed. Even when life begins in that horrible situation of rape, that it is uh, something that God intended to happen. We got to get this guy elected in the U.S. Senate. It is uh, something that God intended to happen. There's so much at stake. I hope you'll join me in supporting Richard Murdoch for U.S. Senate. So we have people trying to run for Senate and GOP who believe, such as Todd Akin, that there's a such thing as legitimate rape versus illegitimate rape. And now we have this moron who thinks that rape is terrible, but that when it happens, God intended it for, for it to happen. So I made a video response to myself a few days ago, responding to myself on why exactly I left the particular church that I did, and part of the reasoning was uh, people were telling me that some of the things that happened in my li life and in my past were because God intended it and wanted it to happen. In other words, God caused certain traumatic experiences in my life. He caused them to me. Having religious people tell you that God wanted you to be raped or God wanted, intended for you to have this happen to you, that is not a form of comfort. In fact, that has the exact opposite of comfort. It does a lot more harm than good. Do I really have to argue here? Rape is rape. Rape is a crime. Rape is disgusting. Rape is a violation of someone else's body. We need to stop trying to protect the rapist. I mean, pretty soon I wouldn't be surprised if the, this same moron or Todd Akin say that we shouldn't imprison people who are rapists or who have harmed people sexually. But the thing that really upsets me is that Todd Akin, Richard Murdoch, Mitt Romney, they avoid, they, they ignore the problem with the victim. They disregard what the victim has to go through or what the victim has to endure through their traumatic experiences that they've went through. I just want to say that anyone, anyone, even if it was my own father, anyone who uses religion to force things on other people should not be running in government, politics, or any form of power within within our governmental system. The First Amendment gives us freedom from, capital F-R-O-M, from religion. Why can't we have our founding fathers back, honestly? They gave us the separation of church and state and it should be respected. There's a quote by Abraham Lincoln that I love. The United States government must not undertake to run the churches when an individual in the church or out of it becomes dangerous to the public interest, he must be checked. Richard Murdoch, you need to be checked. Definitely. I guess what's really scary about this story is that this guy, Richard Murdoch, doesn't even realize that he's giving rapists the option to say, well, as long as God intended it, intended for me to rape this person, then it's okay. And believe it or not, people have used religion, uh, Mormonism especially, but religion as a whole, have used religion as a reason to justify their actions to do immoral acts. I strongly believe that we should remove the tax-exempt churches that are heavily involved with trying to force their religion, religious positions and beliefs on to people. I think that if we moved tax exempt statuses of churches, we could actually balance our budget. Remove their ability to use tax exempt money to undermine the rights of other people. For those of you who don't know, I am pro life and I believe that life at conception. However, I believe that a woman should have the right to choose what to do. And normally, I would never want a woman to commit an abortion. However, I can understand why a woman would want to choose to have an abortion under the circumstances of rape. I can't even I cannot even begin to imagine what a woman has to go through mentally, physically being raped by someone and in the in the in the rarity of actually conceiving through that rape, having to carry the, a child of that rapist. I I honestly don't know how I would react to something like that. But Richard Murdoch, I have a question I'd like to ask of you. Do you really believe that God intends for an innocent woman to be raped so he can give them a gift as a child? If God wants to give that woman a child, he can do it. After all, he gave Mary, the, vir the virgin, 
he made her pregnant without ever subjecting her to rape unless you believe in Mormonism, in which case then God had sex with Mary, however that works. If religious people believe that man has what is known as free will, as most religious people do, then how can rape resulting in pregnancy be ordained by God? Please, people, think. If Richard Murdoch really believes that somehow rape is God's will, then I'll tell you one thing. When he dies, he's going to be in a very hot place for a very long time. All I really have to say to you, Richard Murdoch, is that you are not part of God's plan.